This is a quick guide on how to create splints using manual creation in Medit Splints app. Let's start with the app installation. Log in to your Medit link and go to the app box. Then find the Medit Splints app and click install. The installation file will run automatically once the app is downloaded. To create the splint, you'll first need the scan data. Create a new case, select the Arch tab at the bottom, and choose Byte Splint as the product type. Then click Scan and capture data for both Maxilla and Mandible. Once you have the data, run Medit Splints from the top of the Case Detail window. The program will automatically assign your data. In the next window, select which arch is for your splint. If your last splint were designed by using auto-creation, you would be asked how the printed splint fit was. Based on your selection, the AI will adjust parameter values for the next auto-created splint. Parameter values can also be set manually. Prior to choose auto-creation in the parameter settings. In our Help Center, you will find the recommended presets from the 3D printer manufacturers who has tested their product with our apps. Next, choose Manual Creation to complete the creation process step by step. If your data needs trimming, enter Edit Mode and use the provided tools. In the Alignment Mode, the app will automatically align the arch to the virtual occlusal plane. And the next, in this occlusal adjustment mode, you are going to give vertical thickness for your splint by opening the byte. Use slider at the bottom or you can simply type in numbers. Next, in the inner surface creation mode, rotate the arch data to set the insertion path and click set arrow to your viewpoint. And regarding the retention, this is how the retention works in the system. Without retention, the inner surface will be created on the blocked out plane surface just like the one on the left. With maximum retention, the block out won't apply to the inner surface creation like the one on the right. So if your last job was loose in the mouth and you don't want to change the inner surface offset, try to give retention for more tightness. Next is the outline designation mode. The program will automatically generate the outline of the splint. If the outline needs adjustments, use the sliders at the bottom or you can manually move each dots individually to correct it. And in the next step, the outer surface will be created automatically. The final step is the design mode. Click the deviation display, and if there is touching area, you can measure the thinness with measurement tools to see if it has enough thickness to remove. And click the Adapt to Antagonist from the bottom. Set the value that you want to remove and click Apply. Review the created splint and click Complete to save it. Now you have a 3D printable splint. If you're using a 3D printer from one of our partners, you can export the splint file directly to their software from MeditLink and make the final preparations before printing.